it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Liam here from StudyClicks, and in this video, I'm going to take you through the scientific method. Many students find this to be a boring topic, but it's really important that you have a good understanding of how scientists carry out their work. The scientific method is simply a way to solve a problem. It is the method that should be used for all scientific projects as it allows for learning from failure. So the steps involved in the scientific method. First step, making observations using your own senses or by using machines. The second step is formulating a hypothesis. This means to formulate a question or a problem and make a prediction on what will happen. So a hypothesis is an educated guess based on observation. The third step is designing an experiment, which is a test, that has a control. This is done so the hypothesis can be tested. The outcome must be measurable and a controlled experiment means conducting the test and only changing one thing at a time. All other variables are fixed. The control acts as a point of comparison with our experiment. The fourth step is conducting the experiment to gather data and the data is then interpreted which means the data is recorded and analysed. The fifth step is to repeat the experiment to confirm your results and this makes sure that it's a, not a fluke or not a one-off. The sixth step is forming a conclusion. Was your hypothesis correct, yes or no, and explain why. If the hypothesis was correct, you proceed to the next step. If the hypothesis is incorrect, it needs to be refined and you go back to step two. The seventh step is comparing the conclusion with existing knowledge. Have we learned something new? And then the eighth step is reporting and publishing the results, usually in peer-reviewed scientific journals. And this is where other scientists would look at your work. The ninth step leads into developing theories and principles. A theory is when a hypothesis is supported by numerous experiments and a principle is a step above that. A principle is a law that is a definite factual explanation of an important aspect of nature. So what do you need to be able to do? You need to be able to state the process of the scientific method and know how scientists carry out their work. 